Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad and share your support by sharing this video. Now, <laughs> today I am going to just give a little detail about information about baby Aspen. So as you guys may know or may not know, um, if this is your first video, Aspen is sculpted by Claire Teller, which is ClaireTellerDolls.com is where you can actually find like her website. Um, he is a reborn vinyl sculpt. He is on a cloth body and I was chosen to be the prototype artist um, by the sculptor, which means that the first kits that came out I and myself and other artists will be the ones that paint them and kind of give you guys like the as collectors and also other artists um, just a visual of what the kit could look like. However, of course, however you envision the kit to be, you can design it that way. Rather, it's, you know, African-American, biracial, Caucasian. Italian, Hispanic, Puerto Rican. Okay, that's that is that same. Okay, anyway, <laughs> let's not get off topic here. So anyway, let me give you his size. So he is a very newborn baby. And when I say he's newborn, he is very newborn. He is newborn like I just brought him home from the hospital. He is about four to six weeks old. Maybe not even that, just maybe three weeks, three to six, let's say three to six weeks old. He is that type newborn baby and he feels so good in your arms. So he has open hands and they are in like different positions. Um, he has a open mouth and his mouth is very detailed. Um, I don't know that I can show on video how detailed his mouth is. However, um, I will show photos of his mouth and I probably get in the light a little bit but he has um it's so funny he actually is like he has like it's not so much of a uvula but it kind of almost looks like it's about to like he kind of have a uvula in the back he has um top gums and bottom gums and a tongue that is a lot for a reborn um which is really nice um he has very full lips which are so much fun to paint he comes with the cloth body and he also comes with the um half tummy plate so it's um it's not anatomically correct so it's gender neutral so you can make him a girl or a boy i will later show how he looks as a girl and you know of course i chose for aspen to be a boy um, for those that may be wondering, um, baby Abby is on the way. Um, still too much of a work in progress to show, but baby Aspen will also be, um, painted by me as well. But right now I just want to tell you a little bit about, um, this little puka noop. So he has a beautiful sculpted head. His head actually looks really good bald. Um, which is 13.75 um, circumference. And that is, I don't know who to compare it to, but maybe maybe the same size head as maybe Sam. And for those that have that kit, because I know that's a popular kit out right now. Um, but yeah, he, he has very nice size head and definitely for rooters. <laughs> like you, like that's perfect. Um, so I'm going to show his feet, but first I want to tell you, he can take a modified pacifier. He almost can take a full pacifier, like almost. So I'm probably sure somebody's going to be creative and give, oh, sorry, baby, give, um, him a, a full pacifier, but I've look, so that's him with a pacifier. He does not have a magnet cause I don't see the purpose and plus with the babies with the mouth like that, I mean, you can put the magnet in there, 
but it's kind of like pointless because I mean this holds tight it's not gonna fall out when you lean them over and all that stuff so I really really don't see the point for me um, so what else what oh he has full arms full legs let me show you his feet he fits newborn size perfectly in all brands he has um, the big toe open and the little pinky on this toe I mean on this foot open the big toe separated here and then these two are like separated so the point is he can wear open toe sandals when summertime come if you put your babies your newborns on sandals I particularly don't but I know a lot of mommies like that especially with the little girls you want to put the little soft sandals on their feet I had him on these shoes I found that they fit him actually really perfect you just have to open the the um, strings you know to make it wide so you can slide it on his feet without you know rubbing it but these are actually um like preemie or yeah they're like double zero or something like that but they are preemie um shoes but they're pretty big size preemie shoes um so yeah so i put these on him the ones were, I mean, the zeros were kind of the regular newborn was almost fitting. So you probably could get away with size zero as well in certain brands, but that's baby deer. So I think that's the basic information. Um, he will um, get rooted soon. And I will, get, once I get the pre-order information and the details on his kits, I will share that with you guys. Um... I hope that you guys like him. I really, uh, you know, worked hard on him and I did kind of go out of my comfort zone a little bit because you guys know I'm like the queen of um, the lighter skin tone. So, uh, but I just envisioned him with the deeper skin tone. And then I, I also like, I wished I had two because I wanted to do him in a biracial and I wanted to do him in a... <laughs> Oh my gosh, but anyway, I digress. Um, so yeah, so and he he's just like like he's so cuddly. Like the way he's not like fully fully weighted right now, but when I fully weight him, I'm gonna kind of keep him similar. He does have some weight, and he has polyfill. His limbs are not weighted, and basically because he's going to the rooter soon, I didn't see the purpose of doing all that, and so he doesn't have his eyelashes as well say but I have I say but I am pretty much good to go um so yeah he pulls really nicely the thing about um when you're dealing with cloth bodies and stuff like that um it's all about you know you just gotta find what works for them sometimes you have to reweight them a thousand times to get it right but um that is all in a personal preference how you like your babies weighted so um but yeah so that's baby aspen again um you can go to claire teller website and if you want to check out you know more information and subscribe to her website so that you can get notified when the pre-orders start as well as um, of course i'm sure the other prototype artists and myself will be showing a lot of the babies in letting you guys know when it is so you don't miss it also like i said i will once that all kick off i will be sharing some more information that um in regards to the um aspen and abby kits so they are separate they are separate editions just introduced at the same time so um aspen is the sleep baby which is here and then Abby is the awake baby that you will see later and I don't want to confuse anyone but I do want you guys to know like they are not twins you can make them as twins because they share the same limbs and so they're very um compatible like you know they will look good being the same size as twins um and their head shape is 
kind of similar so yeah so you could definitely get away with having them as twins but um i don't think that they are like identical or anything like that they are totally different sculpts as far as faces go um also question so as you guys know claire teller and i know this I, this is maybe a lot and i don't want to confuse anyone but claire teller also has um a kit edition alex and ashby and they are silicone kits and if i was smart i would have gotten um that out for you guys i may actually do that but um yeah i may come back and do that for you guys but um so they have the same limbs however um when the uh, babies are produced or <laughs> the reborns are produced in vinyl um of course when they go into vinyl the size change a little bit so the vinyl babies are a little bit smaller than the um just a tad bit than the actual um silicone kit so i don't want to make this video too long but if you want um, me to put them together I can but they are the same exact limbs because trust me I've painted um, those limbs twice and I'm working on my third set and I have one blank Alex here as well so they are the same it's the same sculpt same belly plate and everything just um, different faces so it's really nice so for those that may not be able to afford to get the silicone Alex and Ashby's and and get them painted and all that great jazz the um aspen and <laughs> abby is really <laughs> is really good oh my gosh like clara really did you have to name them with all these a's it's like i i'm like Ugh. so um yeah so that's just in my honest opinion i feel like aspen is a baby so this is this is this is aspen for me picture it sicily 1922 aspen is a little baby newborn baby that's just born he's sleeping but every time he hears a little noise he go eh, 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 eh. you know he's about to cry but he doesn't quite cry and if you give him his bottle he just oh he just sucks it he sucks it like it's the best thing in the world right so he is so calm once he gets his bottle but he's easily startled so you have to let him sleep and I'm always afraid that he's going to wake up because he has that expression like he's he's stirring in his sleep and he's just about to wake up that's the way that I see him of course anytime when you put a pacifier on a baby it makes them just even more like <laughs> relaxed looking um but <laughs> he is just like i said he is definitely a baby that is just about to wake up let me see if i can zoom in if you can guys can see inside his mouth let's see that let's see let's see let's see <laughs> oh my gosh uh maybe not oh um we'll try later but anyway, um, but yeah, that is my thought on um, Aspen. And we will see what I think about little Miss Abby because I plan to paint her differently. So anyway, guys, again, thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you guys for cheering me on and congratulating me on another prototype. And of course, it's... Of course, it's another big one for me because um, Claire Taylor is someone that I really look up to as far as, you know, her skills and um, both sculpting and painting. So it is like a great honor to have been given the opportunity to um, to bring this little baby to life. And I cannot wait until he gets his hair, um, which is I've already picked out the style to every detail <laughs> so hopefully um my full vision come together 
and I will show you guys a finished baby soon. See you guys later and thanks for watching.